All right, let's see if this works. So, you know what? I'm really enjoying, like I said before, um, it has no bearing on, on gameplay or whatever, like segmenting or breaking down the way I'm playing it. Um, uh, like with the sector commander and then the army commanders, corps commanders, and so on and so forth. And it's causing me lots of issues. Uh, I mean, if, if I was going to be playing this straight up against another person, I certainly wouldn't be doing certain things that I'm doing right now. For example, I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit. But I would love to take this spot, and I'll try to explain the whole strategy behind what I want to do. Now, I remember with the second army here, uh, can you see him? Yep. Vaughn. Bom Ermoli is going to be railed over to here somewhere around here to help. So he's going to be in charge of these um, three units. That'll he's uh, these three will be under direct um, second army control. There's only going to be one core uh, HQ um, with the second army for now. It's just the way it is. I'm trying to uh, in my narrative. Yes, I did say that the Austrians are going to have a two core system. Um, but I'm just looking at it, and it's partially due to the fact I'm also uh, using that way of saying, well, they just don't have enough supply and people and so personnel and whatnot to uh, to have three cores set up for every flipping army. And this is another one. So this is kind of like, um, oh, God, on a side note, I so want to... Uh, be the Russians right now last night before going to sleep I was like oh I'm gonna maybe almost think about because right now he doesn't have a direct um, anyways I was thinking about making turning Brusilov rogue or something in a sense of remember these are all his former groups uh, all these used to be under uh, eighth army control so I was thinking he's and he's stuck in Stanislav there or Stanislav I have to check see Stanislav I guess um, I'm gonna have, anyways what I'd like and they're moving they're gonna be moving back this way uh, it's just major river to get get them over there before the Austrians can cause them issues due to the fact that you're not allowed to move from enemy zone of control to enemies another enemy zone of control and across a major river um, so that's one thing they're gonna have to worry about but I'm thinking you know what maybe Brusilov and that would be that would cause a bit of an issue with the uh, because of yet again with the, this major river if there's some way that Brusilov can you know snag that um, uh, people's militia unit over here from Cernowitz and whatnot. I mean, he has no supply and so on and so forth, but maybe he'll uh, make a stand here. I don't know. Maybe he could reclaim his whatever. There's also, if uh, remember, there's a brand new whole theater uh, commander for Russia here. Uh, um, not Nikolai Protopopov. Uh, uh, Danilov. Uh, darn it. I can't remember his first name. Um, Dmitry, I think. Dmitry Dan. No, that's Danilov. Um, uh, Dmitry Popovich, and then, um, oh darn it, I can't remember. Anyways, um, so he's he's the new guy over in Brest-Litovsk, uh, where he changed the HQ there away from, uh, oh darn it, I can't remember that name either. Um, the one that was basically Mount Doom, and the Kriegfrosch are going after it, and that's not going to happen anymore, the, the headquarters is too far away. Anyway, so I'm going to move the second army HQ over to here. But and I really want to nail this spot r as soon as possible, preferably this turn. I just don't think I'm going to be able to. I actually think we'll be able to at least, uh, this is the magic spot as far as I'm concerned. If you can see it's just there here, I'll zoom out again. As far as I'm concerned, this is the magic spot. Because that means um, if I can get Austrian troops, Austro-Hungarian, uh, Austro-German troops uh, across this river. Well, it's going to... It's going to be just Austro-Hungarian. Um, that'll kill the river bonus, and that, that, that'll be a great place. I think then we could finally drive the Russians out of Stanislaw uh, before the end of November, but that's going to take a while. I would say, anyways, I say this turn, this is what's most likely, well, we're going to move the Austrians here. All right. Um, oh, yeah, that's it. And then... Um, so we'll, we'll move in here, force these guys back, which is exactly what they're going to do. But what I would like to do, and I know they're going to eventually move back this way, but I would like to have somebody in, like I want to advance after combat that turn before they would move back. So I'd like to force these guys back a bit just to get, the, so I have more units in place for a few turns later uh, to help out with them having issues, perhaps. Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to grab some coffee as well. Perhaps uh, grabbing uh, those guys there. Having issues crossing the major river. 
there's a possibility we could get them. But this is another, yet again, micro-narrative I'm just absolutely flipping loving. But with my command and control structure that I'm setting up, this 3rd Army HQ, and I, I, I am railing some, uh, that's uh, part of the Katowice uh, conference agreement. I don't know if I can zoom out even more and more. We'll see. Oh, just barely. So over these guys here are going to take a rail. There's 10 supply points coming from the Warsh Army, and they're going to go to here. I'm going to... Uh, um, uh, Berevich, the sector commander, sitting in Shemesh. You're going to have to make him a special counter. Um, the, the supplier are all going to 3rd Army, and then I'm going to divvy it up from there. Uh, well, maybe not anymore, because maybe, I, well, I do want to mount an attack and uh, take the bridge, uh, across the bridge. So uh, maybe we should discuss it. Oh, and on a side note, which I've been doing, I'm um, loving. So there's obviously going to be banter back and forth between the sector commander and the army commanders. And uh, I'm, I have a page for special requests. And uh, nothing amazing, don't ask for the world. Uh, of course, every freaking person's always gonna ask for more ammunition, I mean, come on. But the, the reality is, is what I'm doing here, I might as well keep it there, is um, the special request by um, uh, Von Baum Ermoli over here, uh, sorry, in Shemesh, who's gonna be railed over here. Um, is asking for an engineering regiment. Uh, the Warsh Army have three freaking Austro-Hungarian uh, uh, regiments sitting over near uh, Oppel, uh, which is kind of near Breslau, southeast of Breslau. Uh, I just don't hear. What am I doing? Hold on. Over here. Come on, you. Yeah, I'm using the camcorder. Which has got its good strength, uh, good things and bad things. Obviously, I do, I got to learn how to pause. I know I did it before. So yeah, there's three Austrian re uh, engineering regiments sitting over here. They're doing absolutely nothing anymore. So uh, send one over. Oh yeah, and by the way, with supply depots, I've never figured out which way you're supposed to put the circle. But I'm putting the circle with the dark spot down. The way I'm looking at it, that's the way you fill up a glass of water, and so on and so forth, and the way the sun sets and sunrises and all that stuff just makes sense to me so i'm going without it maybe it's whatever like let's be honest i'm not even playing world war one kind of stuff i'm changing command and control structures i'm doing this that and the other thing. i'm just doing whatever anyways let's get back to this hold on so this here all right so i really would like i said i really would like to take this uh this um just push them out of there for this turn. So, anyways, the special request is yeah, like I said, they're going to get. Uh, I would like. Uh, he's gonna, he's asked for um, engineering regiment, which is going to take time. I now have to make sure that it's always going to be. I think I'm I'm starting uh, well with that at certain level. How's that at a certain level? Maybe when from sector commander to sector commander, or maybe from sector commander to army commander. No luck after that. That'll be fine. Or something uh, like I'm still playing. Um, is uh that, uh, that the line of communication has to be via rail. Uh, in other words, be something very similar to the, or some, or follow the, the guidelines of a supply depot, uh, or sorry, supply transfer marker, they call it in uh, Der Valkyrie. Um, yeah, because the supply depot is a very different story. Yeah, you go to Osmanli Harbi and it's uh, like an HQ that doesn't move, essentially. Oh, hold on. Boy, and the other thing, eh, there's core HQs left, right, and center. That's just absolutely flipping fascinating for me that I can that it see there before. I was just to think it was a dirty little secret. Oh my God, hold on. So anyways, what I'm saying is if I did could mount or wanted to mount an attack here, I would love to be able to use um, the uh, supply points that could uh, that are going to be transferred here. I know it means I'm not supposed. I don't. Have, I can't move the um, the headquarters and all that stuff. Hold on. I think I don't need to see two two minutes. Well, there. It's a bit better. There we go. So, but so that's not going to happen. I, the, he can't. Um, oh darn it! What's his name too? Uh, he's been doing so good. Uh, Bruderman von Bruderman. Um, he can't supply uh, this core uh, for the second army. So here's the second core. Uh, well, this is actually a technical, technically in, in the Austro-German, in my universe, the sixth core. And uh, they're going to be controlled by this guy. Well, the sixth, uh, uh, the sixth core HQ. And so, yeah, they're going to be trying to push, push, push this way and hopefully get some engineer, uh, an engineering regiment. That's over as far as I know. Oh, 
I'll show you on the side, however you can't really see them. But I've been starting to work on the um, decking out the sideline. Uh, my, my thing, it almost reminds me of now I'm starting to clue in uh, like a hockey rink. Instead of horrible advertising. Well, back in the day it wasn't like that, back in the 70s and stuff. Not so blatant now. Jesus Murphy, yeah. even with the uh, um, the animated ones and whatnot. I don't know if you can see that. But of course, I popped Berejovich over there, but I think he looks really good. Oops, sorry. So what do you think? So that's my Mark II, I guess you could call it. But I'm sticking with the black and white. Maybe I could have done sepia or something or whatever, or sepia. I guess it's sepia. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, that's my, that was my Mark I. I'll do a much better job. And then um, I put my little dude over there. I mean, like I said, I can move them around. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but boy, oh boy, that looks nice. Um, nice big, big hex and uh, getting people's faces over. The next thing for me to do this way is, which I'll just be doing after I video here, is um, I'll make a template so I can do like a bazillion on a eight and a half by 11 at once. So that way, uh, that'll be that. So, yep, just having a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, this is on this side side bit. And then, um, um, hold on, I'll zoom out a bit. Or quite as much as I can. And uh, perhaps Rob's coming over later. I will see. Um, and then I'll go and take a look at my Axis and Allies World War One game as well. That's all been set up. And I'm... Um, well, I'm going to go back to this, and then I've got to do some um, um, reading and the whole nine yards. Oh, oh, the whole nine yards. Okay, see you later.